Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening, everyone. How are you tonight? Hi, teacher. Hello, Katie. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hi, Hello. everybody. Good evening. Hello, Soveita. Good evening. Teacher. Yes. I finished the exercise in the platform. Okay, congratulations, excellent. So you take the final test? Yes. Uh, five test? Six, uh, six exercises. Ah, six exercises, perdón. Sí, es que no me recordaba, eran cinco o seis, pero. Ah, okay. Okay, perfect. Well, today is our last classroom. Tonight is our last class and we are almost done. Casi estamos terminando. Eh, do you still have some problem with the platform? Some question about that? Or you are just waiting to see your diploma? Solo estamos esperando para ver nuestro diploma. Just be a little bit patient, right? Be a little bit patient with that. So we are working, right, in order to allow you to see their diploma. So don't worry about that. I am almost sure that if it is not tomorrow, the next week, you are going to be able to watch your diploma on the platform. So do you have any question regarding that? Hello, Monica. Hello, Francisco. Manuel, good evening. Good evening, teacher. I apologize yeah. for not coming to class. Oh, yesterday. We understand. No problem. I am almost sure that you were celebrating. I have work. I have, work. I have late work. Work late. Yesterday. Oh, you worked until late. Okay. Um, I thought you were celebrating. By the way. Uh, yes. Out of, the celebrate, out of the celebration, uh, work the different activities with the young chefs, prepare different aliments. Okay. So different food. Perfect. Different food. Yes. Okay. Different, different healthy foods. Ah, okay. Interesting. Healthy food. Do you mean fruits and vegetables? Grains? Yes. Salads, uh, cream cheese with fruits. It's very delicious. The, the cream cheese, prepare, prepare the cream cheese with blueberries and cinnamon. Okay. And you eat the what what do you say galletas crackets cookies or crackets crackers sí, salad de crackers la, ah de las galletas tostaditas sí crackers yes okay excellent Manuel no problem thank you for being here tonight with us today is our last class I was mentioned before so do you have any question about the whole course no questions i have a question teacher tell me Manuel, what is your question the the last part of section five it's uh three questions it's correct the fa the, the final part e, do you mean in the final test yes okay we are talking about let me see Did you say the final test, this one? Which exercise in the final test? Yes, the final exercise. This is the final exam, the final test. Which exercise? Yes. Okay. 
Which one? What 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 is the final the final question or the final part? Is this one? Yes. Is read the article and read the sentences. Yes. Finish. Finish again. <laughs> Okay, so this is one, two, three. Just three questions in the final exercise. Yes, ah, okay. Yeah, yes. Three, three this events. Is, this is the final part of the exam, teacher? Yes, it is. This is the final part. Oh, okay. So you say send, Ooh. you click here on send and submit it, and you are done. Then you come here to yes. this, okay. and you check your progress. Let's see, you click here on progress or progreso. And you are going to see this. Right? You are going to see the graph. And here, where you are going to see uh, the result or the score of the homeworks of every homework. And also, here is the meter and here is the final exam. So I assumed that you have your platform in this way tonight. Todos tienen así su plataforma el día de hoy. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh. Solo que yes, teacher. No aparece el certificado. Yes, eh, you are right. Eh, les estaba diciendo al inicio de la clase que debemos de tener un poco más de paciencia. Just be patient. Eh, you are going to be able to see your diploma eh, very soon. Muy pronto usted ya va a tener la opción. Le va a aparecer acá después de su correo. Por acá le va a aparecer obtener diploma. Usted okay. le da clic y ya le va a cargar ahí su diploma. So just be a little bit patient. But be sure that you are going to receive your diploma. Just be patient. Any other question? So if you don't have a question, I have many questions for you tonight. We are going I to have a have question. One. Tell me, what is your question? Um, solo, bueno, no sabría decirle ahí, este, ¿cuándo más o menos? Bueno, hoy terminamos, ¿verdad? Yes, ¿Cuándo, this se is inicia, our... ¿Cuándo se inicia el otro módulo? ¿Cuándo se inicia el otro módulo? That is a good question. Well, uh, let's see, we're going to contact you. Vamos a enviarles un correo ¿verdad? o les van a escribir en el WhatsApp cuándo es el inicio del próximo curso para que ustedes ya se puedan inscribir. Entonces, estén ah, pendientes, okay. estén pendientes que les va a llegar la información. Gracias, teacher. Okay, thank you for your question. Any other question? No question? No question. No question. Okay, then let's have a feedback of this in section one, section two, section three, section mm -hmm. four, and section five. Do you remember what was the first topic in section number one? What was it about? What was the first topic we studied in this course? Do you remember that? Can you say no, teacher? I don't remember that. The numbers, teacher, the first. Mm -hmm. Okay, we study numbers, we study dates, we study years. And later and we study. Ordinals oh. and cardinals. Ordinal and cardinal numbers. So let me see. I'm mean, sharing with you my screen. Can you already see it? Yes, it's Okay, we're going to have a feedback of the course. Eh, what is feedback? Feedback is una retroalimentación ¿verdad? del curso. ¿verdad? What we learn mm -hmm. in this course. That is the meaning of feedback. So we are going to have like, a review of the course. And this is your last class, class 16. So let's see. We studied this future students review. We studied the going to. Right? Do you remember that? When we're going to use going to there be plus going to. 
we use these things to speak about our future plans. Para hablar acerca de nuestros planes futuros. Let's see, we're going to need a subject, a verb, the verb be, going to, the verb, and the complement. So I have these examples. Who wants to read the following example? I am going to visit it. I am going to visit it, to visit it home again. I am going to visit my relative. I am going to visit my family. Okay, excellent. I'm going to visit. If you say visit it, that is in past. So I am going to visit my family. I'm gonna work tomorrow. Excellent sentence. I gonna work tomorrow. Perfect. I so am going to travel next year. Perfect. I am going to travel next year. Excellent sentence. So the example who is here in this slide, who wants to read it? I am going to have a party. So the next one, who wants to read the next one? You are going to come to my party. Excellent. The next one. She's going to buy some drinks. The next one, please. She's going to buy some snacks. The next one, thank you. It's going yeah. to be fantastic. Thank you. It's going to be fantastic or it is going to be fantastic. The next one. I'm going to cook roasted meat. And the last one. They are going to make the salad. Perfect. So let's see, I am going to have a party. And they say, you are going to come to my party. Usted va a venir a mi fiesta. She is going to buy some drinks. Ella va a comprar, comprar algunas bebidas. He is going to buy some snacks. Él va a comprar algunos bocadillos. It is going to be fantastic. La fiesta será fantástica. We are going to cook roasted meat. They are going to make the salad. So future plans. It is going to happen in the future. So let's see. Algo que no va a suceder en el futuro. So I have these examples. Who wants to read them? Who wants to read the first one? I'm going to celebrate Christmas. Thank you. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Yo no voy a celebrar Navidad. I am the Grinch and I don't want to celebrate Christmas. So I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. Yeah. The next one. She is not going to have a birthday party. So sad, right? Ella no va a tener una fiesta de cumpleaños. He is in a stay at home the next holiday. Ella no estará en casa las siguientes festividades o el siguiente día festivo. Yeah, they aren't going to travel to Europe. Ya tenían el plan, pero se canceló. They aren't going to travel to Europe. I want to travel to Europe. So let's see. Negative question using going to. We need a subject, verb be. The going to the bird, the complement, and not. This not it made a difference, right? In affirmative sentence and negative sentence. So we are going to write not after the verb be, and we have this. I volunteer to read this example, please. Who wants to practice tonight? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Thank you, Francisco, las primeras dos, and Manuel, las siguientes dos, please. Okay. I'm not going to celebrate Christmas. She's not going to have a birthday party. She isn't stay home the next holiday. They aren't going to travel to Europe. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Manuel. That was an excellent job. Thanks a lot. Now let's see, question. How to make a yes, no question? Is C, we write the verb B at the beginning of the sentence, then the subject, Going to the bird, complement, and finally the question mark. And let's see the first examples. Who wants to read them? 
Miss Oveida. Thank you, Sobeida. You can start. Please. Okay. Are you going to go shopping? Is she going to buy clothes? Are they going to use their credit card? Is he going to buy a car? Are we going to go to the supermarket? Excellent. Thanks a lot. So they are yes, no question. Let's see. Are you going to go shopping tomorrow? Who wants to answer this question? Yes, I am going. Okay, excellent. Yes, you say yes, I am going to go shopping. That is the long answer or the full answer. So what is the short answer? Yes, I am. Perfect. That's right. Yes, I am. Okay. So is she going to buy clothes? Possible answer. Which are the possible answer? Is she going to buy clothes? Yes, she is. Excellent. Yes, she is. Oh, no, she isn't. Thank you very much. Are they going to use their credit card? Yes, they, they are. Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Um, Excellent. Yes, they are. Or no, they aren't. Is he going to buy a car? Yes, he is. Yes, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Are we going to go to the supermarket? Yes, we are. We are. No, we aren't. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. So those are the possible answers. Let's see. Are you going to buy a car next year? Are you going to buy a car next year? No, nobody. And you say, yes, I am. Maybe. No, I'm not. No, oh. I'm not. Ah, okay, probably. Let's see. Information question. W is word. There be subject. Going to bird complement and question mark. Let's see some examples. Who wants to read examples, please? What What are you going to do for Christmas? How are you going to spend your weekend? Where are you going to travel? Excellent. So in this type of question, we need to give information. For example, what are you going to do for Christmas? What are your plans for Christmas? What are you going to do? A volunteer to answer this question, please. I'm going to do house of the uh, house of my parents in Christmas. Oh, you say I'm going to be. Voy a estar en la casa de mis padres. I'm going to ah okay. Yes. Okay, I am going to be in my parents' house. Excellent. Manuel. I'm going Thank to you. Uh, how are you going to spend your weekend? I volunteer to answer that question. The coming weekend, how are you going to spend it? The meaning of spend, teacher. Oh, spend means gastar. In este caso sería, ¿cómo va a pasar su fin de semana? How are you going to spend? Um, ¿Cómo va a gastar el tiempo del fin de semana? I'm going to buy I am going that. Let's listen Noel first. I am going to buy the beer. Okay, I am going to buy a couple of beers. Okay. You are going to drink. Okay. I now, am going to watch the movie in the cinema. Excellent. I am going to watch a movie at the cinema. Perfect. Okay. And where are you going to travel? In the future, where are you going to travel? I'm going to travel to Mexico. Excellent. I'm going to travel to Mexico. Any other answer? Where are you going to travel? Nobody wants to travel? Yes. Okay. I am going I am to... Going... <laughs> sorry, sorry, you. <laughs> I am going, I am going to travel to Paris, 
Thanks. Excellent. I'm going to travel to Paris. Thanks. And Manuel? I'm going to travel to Dubai. I'm going to travel <laughs> to Dubai. <laughs> I go to Dubai. Egipto. Oh, Egypt. Egypt. Bueno, si les sobra espacio en la maleta, pues pueden echar algún compañero. And take it to. Now, let's see. We're going to talk about health problems. Do you remember about that? How do you say fiebre in English? Fever. Fever, thank you. How do you say gripe in English? Flu. Flu, perfect. How do you say resfriado? Cold. Cold, cold. cold. perfect. And how do you say yo tengo dolor de estómago? I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. Stomach ache. ¿Cómo dice me duele una muela? Toothache. I have a toothache. Okay, excellent. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Toothache. Now let's see what's the matter and what's wrong. Aprendimos estas dos preguntas. What is the meaning of them? What's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Qué sucede o qué pasa? Excelente. También, ¿cuál es el problema? Thank you. Let's see what's, what's the matter with hair. The girl on the picture, what's the matter with hair? ¿Qué? What's the matter with this girl? Hair has a tooth edge. Okay, is it he or she? She. She has a toothache. Okay, and excellent. She has a toothache. Now, let's see, I have here some example. I have a coat. She has a rash. He has a backache. I volunteer to read this example, please. Just one. No se peleen. Me teacher. Okay, thank you. Thank you, man. <laughs> I, I have a coat. She has a rash. He has a back, back age. Back age. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. What's the matter with hair? She have a stomach age. She has a stomach ache. Excellent. She has a stomach ache. What's the matter with her? She has a flu. She has a flu. Okay, excellent. She has a flu. And then or it's she has a cold. She has, has a cold. A headache. He, he has, has a headache. headache. He has a headache. Thank you. Excellent. He has a headache. Okay, now using imperative sentences. He has a headache. ¿Qué puede hacer él? ¿Cuáles serían algunos advices? Which are some advices? Do you remember about imperative sentences to get advices? And you say, don't eat, don't drink, eat, take. Take a pill. Excellent. Take a pill. Take a dolphin pill. <laughs> She had she had a drink, a shamolin tea. Okay, drink. 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 drink hot tea or drink hot chamomile tea. Um, she yeah, have drink. drink hot syrup. Okay, uh, cough syrup. Yes, and what about she with the stomach? Ache? She has a stomach. Ache. What are some advices for here? Don't eat Don't so much. Eat. Don't mm -hmm. eat so much, yes. Any other advice? She drink a pepto peptobismol. Okay, drink peptobismol things. Visit the doctor. Excellent, that is the better advice. This is a better advice or the best advice. Is it the doctor? Do, do, don't not automedicate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, don't drink anything without a recipe. Drink uh, honey and lemon. Oh, that is for here. The girl that has a cold drink. Drink honey with lemon. And what about hair? What are some advices for the girl that has a toothache? Go to the dentist. Excellent. Go to the dentist. That is the so best advice. Le recomendarían amarrarse un hilo en el diente y jalárselo. Mm. No, con una tenaza. No. <laughs> <laughs> Aplica solo cuando estamos pequeños. Ahora ah, ya no. Ok. <laughs> Okay. El grande tiene que amarrarse a un furgón. <risa> ok, entonces, ¿por qué se les hace a los niños y a los adultos, no? That's an interesting question. Okay. <risa> Let's see the next. In, in this course, we also talk about abilities. Do you remember this? Uh, I can cook. I... Can you? You can drive a car. Can you drive a can car? Can you drive a car? Okay, excellent. So look at this. What are they doing in this? The they aquarium. can cook. They can cook. Okay, excellent. Como se ven los platos, they can cook. Igualitos a los de Manuel. Ah, okay. Manuel Kane. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> It's the same. Let's see the next one. He can. He can swim. In. He can swim. In. He can swim. swim. I don't remember this. Uh, climb. He can climb. He can climb. climb. Fine. What about these two girls? She has patience, patience. Oh, she is patient. <laughs> she <Eso>. is patient. <laughs> okay. Uh, she can dance and she can play the guitar. Uh, she is playing the guitar. The next she one. She can play basketball. He can play basketball. So can you tell me some of your abilities? You say can and you say I can. I can play basketball. Excellent. I can play basketball. Any other ability? I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Excellent. I can drive a bike. I can ride a bike. Perfect. Any other? I can cook. I can cook. Delicious food. <laughs> Any other ability? Can you touch your nose with your tongue? <laughs> can you move an ear? No. No. I can, can sing. Oh, I can sing. Excellent. I can sing. Yo puedo cantar. I so, can run. I can run. Run, run fast. Run, puedo run. correr. Muy bien. Any other ability that you have? No more abilities. Then we learn this, right? I can and I can't and can you to ask for an ability. Let's, for example, Manuel, can you play soccer? Yes, yes I can. Can you drive a car? Uh, more or less, but I can. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I have a, I have a, a license. <laughs> ah, okay. You, you had friends there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, pre I prefer no, no drive. Uh, okay. Can you ride a motorcycle? No, not teacher. 
Okay, they say, I no, can. no, I can't. Yes, I can or no, no, no I, I can't can. drive other motorcycles. Okay, perfect. So let's see. Hey, Divanesa, can you play basketball? No, I like play soccer. Oh, no, I can't. I prefer to play soccer. No, I can't. Okay. Yeah. Noel, can you swim? No, teacher. No, I can't. Okay. The same as the teacher, right? Caemos en un charquito y glue, glue, glue. Bye, bye. Yes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay. And Roberto, can you play volleyball? No, I play soccer. Okay, I, excellent. I prefer to play soccer. Yeah, I prefer to I play soccer, sorry. And Monica, can you climb trees? Okay. Can you climb trees? Puede escalar árboles? Yes, I can or no, I can't. Hello, Monica. No, I. No, no, you can't. Okay, excellent. So we use can to talk about abilities. Abilities that we have, we use can. Abilities that we don't have, we use can't. And if you want to know the ability of some other person, we use this question, can you? So let's see, in this course, we also learn this, giving direction, and we learn this, right? Go straight, turn right, turn left, walk on, next to, between, behind, on, on the corner of, across from, and in front of. So can you tell me, please, where is the bakery, for example? Bakery on front street. Excellent. The bakery is in on is mm -hmm. on front street. Where is the bank? It's on Long Avenue. The bank is on Long Avenue. Excellent. The bank uh, behind grocery store. Teacher. Thank you. The bank is behind the grocery store. Perfect. So can you please tell me where is the daycare center? Next to the beauty shop. Okay. Daycare center is next to the beauty shop. Any other direction to get this play? Daycare center. Okay. Dele, dele. No, dele, dele. Okay, daycare, daycare center is on the corner of Park Street and Border Avenue. Excellent, thank you. Across, across, across from City Park. Perfect, across from the City Park. Let's see, where is the drugstore? The drugstore between the bakery and the fire station. Excellent. Where is the video store? Next video store. McDonald's. Across okay. from parking lot. Across from the parking lot. Good try, but no. It is next to, next to the parking lot, or you can say it's between my taps and the parking lot. Where is the police station? Across from, from court house. Okay, it's across from the car house. On the corner of Long Avenue and Box Street. Thank you. And also it is in front of the... Barber shop. 
barber it's shop. in front of the barber oh, shop. Court house. Okay, excellent. So let's see who wants to ask, who wants to make question? What is? Who wants to ask the question? Let's practice. So what is the city park? What is the bakery? What is the library? What is the courthouse? So ask question and we're going to try to answer you. Who wants to start? Teacher, where is the city middle school? What is the city middle school? Okay, let me see. Francisco, can you please help me with that question? Where is the city middle school? City middle school is next to city elementary school. Thanks a lot. Any other question? Bueno, Frank, haga la pregunta ahora usted. Eh, ya, ya se me, se me, per, me perdí, me perdí. Where is it? Uh, where is Coffee House? Where is Coffee House? Who wants to help me with the answer? Where is Coffee House? Well, let's use someone then. The Coffee House is, uh, is next to City Clinic. Thank you. Coffee House is next to City Clinic. Coffee House is on Border Avenue. Lisette, can you ask the question? Where is the beauty shop? Where is the beauty shop, guys? Where is the beauty shop? Salon de Belleza. Okay. It's between uh, on barber shop in the care center. Thank you. It's on back street between the care center and barber shop. Thank you. Any other question? Two more, two more questions. Two more questions, guys. So tell me, what is? What is the grocery store? What is the grocery store? The grocery store is in front of City Elementary School. Okay, excellent. Thank you. The last, the last question. Grocery store is between Long Avenue and Short Avenue. Mm, the grocery store is between Short on Avenue. The, on the corner of City S. Okay. On the corner yeah. of Long Avenue and Front Street. Okay, in this case, we can use that direction because the grocery store is the whole block. It's toda la cuadra. Oh, okay. We can say that information too. Or we can say it's on front street. Mm -hmm. Let's continue then. Let's continue. Also, in this course, we study this simple past tense review. Uh, let's see, can you please help me to answer this question? The first one, who wants to, to answer the first one? A volunteer, please, to the first question. What did you do yesterday? Thank you, Manuel. So who wants to answer this question? A volunteer, please. What did you do yesterday? I visited my parents. Yesterday. I visited my parents yesterday. Thanks a lot. Any other answer? What did you do yesterday? Okay. I, it, tell me. It, tell it me. With my I visited my parents. Thank you. I when played. I played. Video games. I played video game. Excellent. I play video games. Let's go with the next one. Where did you go last weekend? Information question. Where did you go last weekend? Donde fue el fin de semana pasado? And you say, I went to. 
I went to the beach. Thank you. Excellent answer. Any other answer? I went, to, I went to Santa Tecla. I went to Santa Tecla City. I went to visit my family. Thank you. I went to visit my family. Thank you. I play video games. I play video games. Okay. But in my house. <laughs> I play video games in my house. Okay, so you say I stay at the home and I played video games. Very good. So, but remember this that where is asking for a place. So it says, Where did you go last weekend? So a qué lugar fue. Let's see the next one is a yes no question. The siguiente dos son yes no questions. So did you go shopping? What yes. is the answer? Yes, I did. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, excellent. The, those are the two options. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. 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 Perfect. Did you stay at home last weekend? Yes, yes I did. I did. Yes, yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, it's yes, I did, and no, I didn't. So let's see the next one. An information question again. This is asking for time. When did you last go to the movies? And you say, I went to the movies 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, I volunteer to answer I this I went question. to the movies last week. Okay, excellent. I went to the movies last week. La semana pasada. Fui al cine la semana pasada. Perfect. And your answer, when did you last go to the movies? When did you last go to the movies? Two years ago. One week I ago. went a month ago. Excellent. I went to the movies a month ago. And the next question, what movie did you watch? What was the last movie? I watched Venom. Excellent. I watched Venom. Any other answer? No more answering this. Let's see the next. Okay. So I volunteer to read this. So it says, today marks the last day of the course, beginner number three. And I must take this opportunity to appreciate you for the time you did your best. So thanks a lot for your effort. Uh, wishing you all the very most excellent for the upcoming opportunities. It was a great blessing being a teacher of such brilliant students. May God things follow you in everything you do. So thanks a lot. Okay, we are going, we still have time to make a small group and practice what we have learned. So this is for my part. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your effort uh, to be here every night. Uh, your participation, your punctuality, your attention. Thank you so much. So we are going to practice in a small group tonight. And we are going to speak about the next topic. So just give me a second. I'm going to share with you my screen. This is the a whiteboard. I'm going to share this a whiteboard. So, what do you want to ask to your classmate? ¿Qué preguntas de las que hemos aprendido durante el curso le gustaría hacerle a sus compañeros en su en la última vez que van a compartir con ellos en los breakout rooms? So tell me. Mm. Thank you, Lizette. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your comment. 
Do you learn different words? Oh, you say, do you like different? Do you like different what? Words, palabras. Do you like different words? No, it's do you learn? Do you like different words? Okay. Any other question do you want to ask to your classmate? Let me see one, for example, what are you going to do next year? What are you going to do next year? ¿Qué va a ser el próximo año? I am going to study. Okay, excellent. What are you going to do next year? I'm going to study. And you can say, I'm going to study French. I'm going to study Chinese. I'm going to study Japanese. So I'm going to study medicine. So the next question is, what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hizo el día de ayer? And you say, I went to work. I stay at home. What is your favorite place? Thank you. In El Salvador. What is your? In El Salvador. What is your favorite place in El Salvador? And you're going to answer my favorite place is the Tunco Beach, El Sunsal, Santa Ana Volcano. What is your favorite place in El Salvador? Apulo Lake. So, any other question? We need five. We need five questions. What is your favorite hobby? Oh, then let's change a little bit the question. What are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? ¿Cuáles son sus pasatiempos? And you say, I play soccer, I play chess, I swim, I dance, I sing. Movies. I see movies. Okay, I see you or I watch movies. And the last one. In the last one. What expectative next fall? Oh, what are your expectative for the next level? For the next level. Let's see what are your new years resolutions. Así lo vamos a poner. What are your new year's resolutions? It's meant, ¿cuáles son tus planes para año nuevo? And say, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to work less. Voy a trabajar menos. And I'm going to eat more. Voy a comer más. Uh, and you say, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to drink soda anymore. I speak more English. Oh, okay, I am going to practice more English. So here are your five questions. And the first one, do you like different words? I don't really understand this Dicho question. Es que yo creo que quería decir aprender. ¿Qué ah. palabras hemos aprendido? Okay. Uh, learn. Do you learn different words? 
Or ah, what okay. do you learn? No like learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, what words did you learn in this course? In este curso. Okay, we're going to have like six minutes to share this with your classmate. So let me know, please, if you are ready. Are you ready to start practicing, sharing with your classmate? This is the last yes, time. Okay, so after yes, the teacher. practice, say bye-bye to your classmate. So let's see the first one is, what are you going to do next year? What did you do yesterday? What is your favorite place in El Salvador? What are your hobbies? What are your new year resolution? And what words did you learn in this course? So you say you are ready, so give me a second. What day do we have a coffee? <laughs> Every day. Mm. Every wow. day. So we are 17, maybe five hours. Bueno, en un momento les llega la invitación para que entren a las salas con sus compañeros. So practice a lot. Do it your best. See you after the practice. Jonathan recibió la invitación para moverse a las salas. Hello, Jonathan. Do you have a problem to enter to the breakup rooms? Jonathan, did you receive the invitation? No, Jonathan. Okay. Teacher, Hello. pronunciation, uh, headache. Hello. Headache. Mm, headache. Es que me, han, me han corregido mi esa palabra, me dicen que es headache. Headache. O como headache. 
Y el dolor de estómago es, es stomachache. Stomach. Como que fuera cake, que al final. Stomachache. Ok, I'm going to look um, right away for the pronunciation and I'm going to tell you. Do you have any other question? Mm -hmm. uh, no, what about the question we are discussing? Oh. Uh, did you finish? Ya terminaron las demás? No, teacher. We take about the new word. Ah, you're talking about the new words. Okay, perfect. Yes. Teacher, what is pronunciation? Eh, sorpresivamente, ¿cómo se dice? Luckily. Surprising, pues, se escribe, oh, pero no sé. Surprisingly. 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 Thank you, teacher. Surprising. Thank you. Okay, here is the pronunciation of the word you asked me for. We are going to listen it. So it's like headache. Headache. Yes, give me a second. I'm going to share with you this. So now please if you can listen it. Headache. Headache. Could you listen? ¿Pudieron escucharlo? Yes. yes. Headache. Yes. Headache. Headache. No es, no es headache. It's headache. 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 So listen again, just to make sure, to be sure of this. Headache. 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 Is eh, dolor de estómago? Eh, give me a second. Stomach. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Okay, can you see okay. stomach cake? Stomach cake. Uh -huh. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Mm -hmm. Es como cake al final, como cake. Mm -hmm. Yes, stomach, stomach cake. cake. Headache, stomach cake. Y okay. hay otra. Back cake? Creo que sí, esa. This one is the same back cake. So back cake. Back cake. Back cake. Mm -hmm. Igual. Back cake. Back cake. Okay, excellent. Back cake, stomach cake, and a lot, the other one was headache. 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 Okay, thank yeah. you. Excellent question. So is it clear now? Yes. Thank yes. You. Okay. Yes, clear. Any other question? Okay, no more questions. So continue discussing, please. Continue discutiendo. Acerca de las otras preguntas, please. Los veo en un minuto. Una reunión con todos. Thank you okay, very much. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Se manda mi hermano. Francisco. Mm, Vanessa and Francisco. Uh, what is your favorite place in El Salvador? My favorite place. Mm, I play.
Hello, hello, hello again. Hello. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are done. We are done. Thank you again for your punctuality, for your attention, for your participation during this course, for your question too. Thank you very much. It has been really nice to be with you. So thank you. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna miss you too. Thank you for Bye, everything. Thank you. Eh, ha sido un gusto, un placer ¿verdad? haber estado estas noches con ustedes. Thank you very much. Y eh, si nos vemos por ahí, say hello. Ya yeah, say hello. Thanks, teacher, for all. Thanks, teacher. Okay. For everything. Thank you. you are excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, teacher. You are an excellent teacher and very, very patient. Y perdón por las veces que dejamos abierto el micrófono. Don't worry about that. That happened. Okay. Bye bye, guys. Take care. Okay, bye. 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 Bye.